So we are officially back. I almost started out this video like uh, <laughs> March 23rd, 2015. Like, I almost went all that route. But uh, anyways, welcome back. Episode 8 of 10. I would love to have this game finished today. I just kind of have to see how these episodes go. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for your patience and support. And let's do this. Previously on Hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets slaughtered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. <laughs> you get slaughtered? I figured you could probably use a hand back here. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 million worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! Bam. What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army. You know, made a local friend. So I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Dude! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need, like, SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safecracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my God, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome. Go to the right here, Nick. Kind of feels different. Like this actually feels like it might be so what have you been doing the best today? one yet. Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boys up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? Still carrying that fucking. Gun. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could. Marcus and I were very much in the running. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic, but which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh, GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Great. Yeah. Uh. This looks like the uh, where the end of seven was filmed at for some reason. I could be wrong though. Uh oh. 
This is how you swerve and wreck. Hoping this is a pretty good mission. Uh, we only got a couple left, so I'm kind of thinking that this might be a slow one, and then the next few so your pick dad up. Sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team Six. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team Six. Due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots. Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Gone. Then the truck's going fast. Uh, Dirt what? Road straight ahead. That's ours. Oh shit! She didn't specify. I thought there wasn't a road right there. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your patience. I will be finishing this game very soon. I'm not sure if it'll be today or tomorrow, or the next day, but it will be done. Let's see what we got right here. Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Alpert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh. Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune, who set you up? She's uh, she's actually really good people. Oh sure. All right, stay behind me. Okay, yeah, I just had a bad feeling, like the minute she was like, "Hey, check out yeah, this little tracking device," I was like, "Yep, it's about to be bad." Anyway, missile silo, decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. It'd be crazy if he did, though. That'd be some bullshit, wouldn't it? One man island of armed sovereignty. Back to remind you that all of us here. Okay, this way. Where the hell are we supposed to go? I'm gonna just search all these rooms, I guess. There's gotta be an escape hatch here somewhere. So we're in a missile silo, or missile, excuse me. <laughs> Gotta work on that, that grandma. <laughs> That's right, bitch. He looked me right in the eyes. Oh, shit. No country for all of this. If you've ever seen the start of that movie, No Country for Old Men, you know what just happened. Okay. How many, uh, 20 rounds you got? Not many. Okay.
Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. I don't have a good feeling about this. I can't aim my gun yet, so I don't know what... How do you find something like this in the middle of like a desert? Shh, shh. Oh shit. Wait here. <coughs> Hands up. Keep them up. How the fuck? <coughs> How the fuck? I wanted to just tell you guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. I hope to see a lot of you just whenever I play like the next Battlefield or any kind of shooter really. I'm not sure what kind of games people go from, you know, like it's like, could they go from this to, you know, something else that's not like this. This kind of varies. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh man, way too many cops around here lately. Holy shit, there's yeah, a lot of them. Well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cop's bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit. Don't move. Look out! Hey! Get his ass! I don't know if they... There's like a fourth or fifth guy somewhere. Alright, the hell with it. I got this shotgun ready to go. How convenient. Woo, hang tight. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness! It's like a meth lab or something down here. Heisenberg. So I had to kill a few people, but... All in all, I mean... I don't know, I just really like the way this game has been played out. Like, I, I think they did a fantastic hey, one job of these with idiots it. had my scanner. Let's see, I bet it's something back here. How about that? Nope. Six evidence. We haven't found... Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Ooh, I don't like this, guys. Come on. This is about to be bad news, bears. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddy gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. 